God's Messengers by Leroy Harris III We are to pray for guidance and walk in the Spirit so that we have God's guidance while we are standing on His truth. God knows the Bible better than we do, and we need Him to teach us how to follow Him and His Word. The way that we do that is to let the Holy Spirit guide our path while living righteously, diligently seeking His Word through prayer and action with the hope of being led to give inspiration and hope to others. God is the Father, Master, and Teacher, not us. The reason this is true is because anyone that carried the title, or any title really, is supposed to be led by God. That makes the title His, and not yours. So if you have a title, you are to give it to God and let, or pray for Him, to guide you to use your position righteously. If it doesn't seem right for God to have the title, then you're in the wrong place in your life and not living righteously. To be led by the Holy Spirit is to be guided away from unrighteousness. The Holy Spirit doesn't make you do anything but inform and give you hope, just like we as Christians are supposed to do, but because it is so close to God, the message is delivered in a perfect and holy manner like Jesus did. Which is why we are to try to stay as close to God as we can by living up to our true measure of faith. That is why the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, or the Trinity, is considered one unit because they serve the same purpose in a holy way. When we are close to God in this way, we are no longer considered servants, but friends of God. We are to live righteously, and the Holy Spirit is one of God's ways of doing this. Related Scripture Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 He rewards those who diligently search for Him. Matthew chapter 23, verse 8 to 12 God is the teacher, God is the father, God is the master, we are the servants of God. John chapter 15, verse 13 to 15. We are friends of Jesus. Romans chapter 12, verse 3. Measure of faith. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. Walking in the Spirit.